If you are a business builder with Young Living Essential Oils, then having someone on your team ask you about the compensation plan is a very good thing. For you and them both to be able to understand it is an even better thing. And the best thing is that now you can let this video do the explaining for you. My name is Jeremy Tracy. I'm an independent distributor with Young Living Essential Oils. And whenever I do a video about the products, uh, one of the essential oils, I like to add a medical disclaimer. That disclaimer has been adapted for this video series. I'm not an accountant, a lawyer, a bookkeeper, or a financial planner. I also do not work for Young Living Corporate. As a Young Living Independent Distributor, this is my interpretation of the compensation plan. Please do not make any financial or business decisions without consulting with a professional. These videos are not intended to be a guarantee of any level of income. If you are successful, that's because of you. If you are unsuccessful, that's because of you. These videos are not intended to shift your focus onto the money and away from helping people with these powerful oils. These videos are to help you and your team build your financial wellness while you are helping people improve their lives with these powerful oils. First, you will learn how to look at your commission breakdown to understand exactly how you're being paid. You will then understand what you need to duplicate in order to help that commission check grow. We will then use that page as a guide going through each line so that you understand at a deeper level each aspect of your commission. The uni level, the fast start, the generations, the bonuses. After that we will go through every level from distributor all the way through to Royal Crown Diamond. You will learn what it takes to qualify, what commissions and bonuses each level will earn you, and you will learn the average income of the different levels. Absolutely no guarantees, these are just averages that have been calculated by Young Living. Knowledge is power, and this knowledge will give you the power to increase your financial abundance. It will also give you the power to help people in your organization to do the same. And together, we will be able to bring Young Living Essential Oils into more and more homes around the globe. If you're the type of person who likes to learn every little detail, then I'd encourage you to pour a mug of sleep tea, pop some popcorn, sit back and enjoy this entire video from one end to the other. But if you consider yourself to be more of a Coles Notes, only tell me what I absolutely have to know kind of person, then I'd encourage you to look at and key in on just the aspects of this, the individual videos that you think are most interesting and most important to you. One last caution, please don't expect to understand this completely on your first pass through. That is the other reason we've broken this up into smaller pieces. Because there's a pretty good chance about a week from now you're going to be saying to yourself, How many uni levels at Senior Star? At that point you can go right back to the specific Senior Star explanation video. Now we have set up one page that has this entire video series. We suggest that you visit that and even bookmark it. As we go through this, you will find it helpful to have the comp plan overview printed off so that you can follow along. If you can't find it, there will be links within this video and in the YouTube description box below. Up next, you will see how you can look at your Young Living Commission breakdown. And this is going to be very helpful as we go through the details of this compensation plan. Because that way when I say, the person who you enrolled, when they enroll someone, you will earn the level 2 fast start bonus. You'll be able to look at the real people in your life and in your organization and say to yourself, okay, so I enrolled Mary and Mary enrolled Paul, that's why I made 10% on his order. This will make this so much easier for you to understand when you're looking at real people rather than hearing about hypothetical ones. Looking at your Young Living Commission breakdown is pretty simple and easy once you know how. If you already know how, go ahead and skip to the next video in this series. If you don't, here we go. In the new and the old virtual office, it's similar but different. Let's have a look at both. In the new virtual office, you will click on My Account, then scroll down to Recent Commissions, click on the link under the word Check Number, that will open up a page that looks like this. In the old virtual office, click on the tab that says Downline Viewer. From the Downline Viewer page, click the word Commissions, that will open up a page that looks like this. You can see that the two pages are very similar. The videos that follow will take you through each aspect starting with the customer earnings all the way down through to the D. Gary Young Foundation line. 
If you are looking in the old virtual office at the commission sheet, you will see two lines. One says sleek enrollment bonus, the other says sleek bonus. I would like you to please ignore these lines. They are part of the old compensation plan and they do not matter anymore. Now, as we dive into the other aspects of the compensation plan, there is some terminology that is critical for you to understand. If there is even a flicker of doubt in your mind about your understanding of the difference between an enroller and a sponsor, you really need to watch this video. Not understanding the difference between enroller and sponsor can be disastrous to your commission check down the line. We are also going to cover terms like commission period, PV, OGV, PGV, and something called lag requirements. This is the base of everything else we're going to talk about in these videos. Trying to understand the Young Living Compensation Plan without first understanding the terminology would be like trying to get the benefits of an essential oil without taking the lid off. You just won't get it. Let's get something out of the way right now. There are some people who find certain terms to be offensive. Terms like downline or lag. Now, I don't know what they mean to other people, just know that when you hear me say those words, there's something that carry a very, very positive meaning for me. When I say to my young living friend Sandy, I say, hey Sandy, this month you are my strongest lag. You know what she says? She says, woohoo! Sandy knows that a leg, especially a strong leg, is something that I have a lot of gratitude, respect, and appreciation for. Right now we are going to cover commission period, PV, OGV, PGV, something known as lag requirements, and then the ever-confusing enroller versus sponsor. There will be other terminology that comes up later, but these are the terms you need to understand in order for us to get started. If you are someone who understands better by reading, Young Living has created a nine-page document that goes through every terminology that you could ever want to know in order to understand the compensation plan. A link to that document is in the YouTube description box of this video. One of the first things you need to understand is what Young Living considers to be a commission period. Young Living considers a commission period to run from 12 midnight Mountain Time the first day of a calendar month to 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time the last day of a calendar month. The beginning of each month is the beginning of a new commission period. All bonuses, commissions, and rank qualifications are calculated on a calendar month to calendar month basis. Each commission period resets PV, OGV, PGV, your lag status, everything. And do you know what that means? That means that at 12.01 on the first day of each calendar month, you are exactly tied with even the Royal Crown Diamonds in Young Living. Now, everything in Young Living's compensation plan is based on something called PV, and that is the term we'll discuss next. When you're looking in your Young Living back office, you will notice that products have both a price and a PV value. A very common question that we get from Canadian members is, why is the PV 21.5 and the cost is 24.75? Why aren't they the same? Young Living is a global company and therefore we need to have a global standard and the PV unit is that standard. In most cases, the PV value of a product is going to be the value of that product in US dollars. And the reason that this is important to you, the reason you care about PV, is because Young Living's calculations of commissions and everything to do with their compensation plan is completely based on PV. So what is this OGV thing all about? Your OGV, Organization Group Volume, is calculated by adding together all of the PV, personal volume, of everyone in your entire organization, including your own PV. And OGV is one of the requirements that you need in order to achieve different levels or ranks in Young Living's Compensation Plan. One of the other requirements for reaching any rank of executive or above is called lag requirements and that is what we'll cover next. Every rank or level in the Young Living Compensation Plan, all the way from executive through to Royal Crown Diamond, 
has what are called lag requirements or a need for qualifying lags. Now remember, for me, lag carries a positive meaning. You can also call them a sales organization. Now let's take a look at what it takes for someone to qualify as a lag in your organization. Every color you can see here is a separate sales organization or lag. The person who is sponsored closest to you and has at least 100 PV, personal volume, is the beginning of that lag. In this image, you are Bob's sponsor. Bob ordered 100 PV. He has an OGV, organizational group volume, of 1200. Therefore, you have a leg of 1200 OGV. If you need Bob's leg to be at least 1000 so that you can qualify for executive, then you should pick up the phone and call Bob. Love you, Bob. Something else that causes a lot of confusion around legs is people will say, well, what if the person I sponsor doesn't order 100 PV? Let's take a look at another image that will help clear that up. You can see here that Bob is actually five people into your organization, but because he is the first person in that line to order 100 PV, Bob is still your leg. We still love Bob. And you may be wondering, what happens if Bob doesn't order? Or what if Bob doesn't quite order 100 PV? Let's take a look. In this example, you can see that Bob ordered 71 PV. Therefore, Bob no longer qualifies as a leg. In this example, Seth, JP, and Joe each become their own leg or sales organization within your organization. If this were a real life scenario, I highly recommend that you pick up the phone and call Bob. Bob, have you not seen Jeremy's compensation videos? Watch them and then you'll see how much money you're throwing away by not placing your 100 PV order. Now at this point, you should have an understanding of commission period, PV, personal volume, OGV, organization group volume, and this lag requirements. Just one more term that we need to cover before we jump into the fun stuff, and that term is PGV. PGV, which stands for Personal Group Volume, is not relevant until you are going after the rank of silver or above. And PGV is calculated by taking your entire OGV organization group volume and then subtracting any of your qualifying legs. You also need to subtract any leg that has reached the rank of silver or above. Looking at this example, everything in blue is considered to be your OGV. Your own PV plus the PV of everyone in your entire organization. Now let's say that Bob is either a qualifying leg or he has reached a rank of silver or higher. Bob's OGV will not be counted as part of your PGV. And Pete is either a qualifying leg or has reached the rank of silver or higher. His OGV will also not count toward your PGV. Everything you see left in blue, including your own PV, will still count as your PGV. If you are new to understanding the Young Living Compensation Plan, you're probably sitting there thinking, so what now? Circle back to this definition once you have a better handle on the other terminology and the rest of the compensation plan. Just know that PGV is not relevant until you want to reach the rank of silver. Our next topic is the difference between an enroller and a sponsor. Can you be both? Should you be both? Are you allowed to be both? Let's take a look. The enroller is the person who has introduced the new person to Young Living. Let's say your friend Mary comes over to visit. She smells the thieves in your diffuser. She asks a few questions. Mary is very smart and Mary loves her family. So Mary sets up an account with Young Living. You are Mary's enroller, which means that you are eligible for things like the Fast Start bonus and the Starter Kit bonus. The sponsor is the new person's direct upline. That's it. I know you're expecting something more complicated, but the definition is that they are the new person's direct 
upline. And again, upline, downline, this is not an expression of value. Who gets into heaven? Who's on Santa's naughty list? It's nothing more than terms used to clearly explain positioning in the Young Living organization. Now there are times when you will enroll someone and you will make someone else in your organization their sponsor. There are other times someone in your upline will enroll someone and they'll make you their sponsor. And there's times where you will be both the enroller and the sponsor. There's different theories on how and why you would do that, but for now just know that it can be different people. Back to your friend Mary, the one you just introduced to Young Living. It just so happens that Mary is also friends with JP, who is already part of your Young Living team. You make yourself Mary's enroller, but you have decided to make JP her sponsor. This is what that looks like. Little side note, just make sure that JP is aware of and okay with you making him Mary's sponsor because it can lead to Young Living sending a check to JP, and in most cases that's fantastic. But there are some rare cases where someone does not want to earn a paycheck. Maybe they're on disability and they're not allowed to earn any extra income. JP, are you cool if Young Living sends you a check? Great, just making sure. You can see where you have placed Mary in your organization. Even though you have made JP Mary sponsor, you are still her enroller. Now you may be thinking, Jeremy, why would I ever do that? But as we move forward through the compensation plan, you will begin to see the benefits of placing people strategically within your Young Living organization. Well, now that we've got all the boring terminology stuff out of the way, let's jump into the good stuff, the fun stuff, the money stuff. And we'll start with what's called retail earnings. When a new person to Young Living sets up a retail customer account, that new person's direct sponsor is eligible for the retail earnings. In order for you to receive retail earnings, you must be an active distributor. If you yourself are set up as a retail customer, you are not eligible for any aspect of the Young Living Compensation Plan. As a distributor, you must order a minimum of 50 PV during the same month as your directly sponsored customer orders. So someone who you are the direct sponsor of orders during the month of May, you must order a minimum of 50 PV during the month of May in order to be eligible for these earnings. Young Living pays the qualifying sponsor the approximate 24% difference between the wholesale and the retail price of the products. Now making our way down the commission sheet, next up is the Fast Start Bonus. Fast Start Bonus is one of the most popular aspects of the compensation plan with new Young Living business builders. And if you like sharing these amazing products with the people in your life, I'll bet it'll be a favorite for you as well. In order for you to be paid Young Living's Level 1 Fast Start Bonus, you must have a wholesale distributor account. You must order a minimum of 50 PV during that calendar month. And you must be that member's enroller. It does not matter who the sponsor is. Fast Start Bonuses are paid to the enroller. Basically, for Fast Start, I want you to forget the term sponsor. Pretend it doesn't even exist. The new member could be sponsored to your 87th level. If you are the enroller, you will be paid the Fast Start. If you are not, then you don't. The Fast Start bonus is paid on the new member's orders for the first three calendar months. It is important to understand that this does not mean the first 90 days. Let's say you help your friend Shirley set up an account on June 20th. As her enroller, you will be eligible for the Fast Start bonuses on Shirley's orders in June, July, and August. Even if Shirley enrolls on June 30th, June will count as the first of the three months of Fast Start. It is also important to point out that if Shirley sets up an account in June but does not order in June, June will still count as the first of her three months that you are eligible to earn the Fast Start bonuses. Shirley, if you don't plan to order until next month, how about we wait and set up your account next month? 
you are eligible to earn 25% of their first 800 PV during each of their first three calendar months. If Shirley, your newly enrolled member, orders 2,000 PV in her first month, as her enroller, you are eligible to earn the 25% Level 1 Fast Start bonus on the first 800 PV, which equals $200. If Shirley places big orders again in month 2, July, and month 3, August, you are able to earn up to $200 on Shirley's orders in each of those months. In my experience, this 800 PV limit does not come into play very often. But listen, if you know how to get new members consistently ordering over 800 PV each month, please pick up your phone and call me. The great news here is, is that there is no limit to the number of people you are allowed to personally enroll and therefore be eligible to earn the Level 1 Fast Start bonus on. Up next, Level 2 Fast Start bonus, which is actually 10% rather than the 25 like Level 1. But once you understand how the Level 2 bonuses work, it can be even more exciting than the Level 1. In order for you to be paid the Level 2 Fast Start bonuses during a commission period or calendar month, you must have a wholesale distributor account. You must order a minimum of 50 PV personal volume during that calendar month. You must be the new member's enrollers enroller. Looking back at this example, you enrolled Mary and you made JP Mary's sponsor. But remember, for Fast Start bonuses, the sponsor does not matter, so just forget about JP. You enrolled Mary, Mary then enrolls her friend Paul. This makes Paul your Fast Start Level 2. Please do not confuse this for the Uni Level. During Paul's first three calendar months, Mary will earn the 25% Level 1 Fast Start bonuses on Paul's order. As Mary's enroller, you are eligible to earn the 10% Level 2 Fast Start bonus on the first 800 PV of Paul's orders in each of his first three calendar months. If that is unclear, please go back and re-watch the Level 1 Fast Start bonus video. An example, Paul sets up his account in September and he orders 200 PV in September. Mary is eligible for the level 1, 25% Fast Start bonus, which equals $50. You are eligible for the level 2, 10% Fast Start bonus, which equals $20. I said that the level 2 Fast Start bonus can be even more exciting than the level 1, and I meant it. There is no limit to the number of people that you are allowed to enroll in Young Living. There is also no limit to the number of people your enrollees are allowed to enroll in Young Living. That is where the true power of network marketing comes into play. See, if you are successful in helping your people understand how they can help people, there will come a day when your level 2 bonus can be bigger than your level 1 bonus. And if you do a really great job, there will come a day when you are kicking back enjoying your favorite pastime. Maybe you're sitting on the beach or coaching your kid's sports team. Or you could be sitting down to watch your favorite Young Living Team Tracy YouTube video. <laughs> and while you're watching your favorite YouTube video clip, <laughs> one or more of your enrollees could be sitting down with one or two or even five new people helping them get started with Young Living. And that means that you would be eligible for the Level 2 Fast Start bonus on one, two, or even five new Young Living members. Now that's exciting. But Young Living doesn't stop there. There is one more perk to being an enroller. How would you like to receive a $25 bonus? In order to be eligible to receive the Starter Kit bonus, you must have a wholesale distributor account. You must order a minimum of 50 PV during that calendar month. You must be the enroller of the new person ordering that starter kit. The starter kit must be ordered during the same calendar month as the new account is set up. These rules are the same all around the globe. 
What is not the same all around the globe is what qualifies as a starter kit. I highly recommend that you find out which kits qualify for this bonus in your country and any country where you enroll new people. Now there is no limit to the number of people that you can enroll and earn this bonus on. But each new account is eligible for one starter kit, which means you can earn this bonus one time for each newly enrolled member. This translates to a one-time $25 cash bonus. Now you may also be thinking, so what happens after those first three months? Glad you asked. Let's talk uni level. Over time, your Young Living organization will grow as new people get sponsored in at different levels. Some of those people will be, will be enrolled by you, some will be enrolled by people in your upline, while others are enrolled by people in your downline. And again, upline, downline, not an expression of value, just a way of explaining positioning in the organization. Now remember, when we looked at the level one and the level two fast start bonus and you were asked to completely forget about the sponsor that the enrollers were the only ones eligible for those bonuses. Now I would like you to completely forget about the enrollers because the uni level payout is completely based on who are the sponsors. In order for you to be eligible for the uni level payouts, you must have a wholesale distributor account. You must order a minimum of 100 PV personal volume. You must achieve the necessary rank or level required for each level of payout. And that will make more sense as we go. Looking at this very simple image, you will see that Bob is on your level one. Level one is anyone in your organization who has you as his or her sponsor. Level two is anyone in your organization who has someone in your level one as their sponsor. Level three has someone from your level two as their sponsor, and so on. There are no limits on how wide your organization can be on any one level. And there are also no limits on how deep your organization can be. You will be paid uni level on the first five levels of your organization. You are eligible to earn a percentage of the PV ordered by the people in your uni levels. You can earn 8% on the PV of the people ordering on your level 1. You can earn 5% on the PV ordered by the people in your level 2. And you can earn 4% of, of the PV ordered by people in your levels 3, 4, and 5. The higher the rank or level that you achieve in Young Living, the more levels of uni level you are eligible to receive. As a distributor or above, you are eligible to receive your level 1 and level 2 of the uni level. To receive levels 1, 2, and 3, you need to be a star or above. To receive levels 1 through 4, you need to be a senior star or above. And to be eligible to receive all five levels of uni level, you need to be an executive or above. What you need to do to achieve each of those levels just mentioned will be explained in a later section. You can also see that on the comp plan highlight sheet and there is a link for that document in the YouTube description box of this video. For as long as you stay active with Young Living and you meet the requirements in a given month to be paid these uni level commissions, you will continue to earn 8% on Bob's orders for the rest of time. You can earn 5% on JP's orders, 4% on Mary's orders, and so on. And please keep in mind, we are looking at this image with one straight line down. Remember, there is no limit to the number of people that can be on any one of these levels. There is also something called compression. Now, had you been sitting beside me in Toronto as we sat and listened to Clifton Dukes, the gentleman who created this compensation plan, when he explained compression, you would have seen a great big smile come across my face. And here's why. Anytime someone in your organization does not order the 100 PV necessary to qualify for the uni level payouts, all levels below that person will compress upward for payout purposes. Let's look at three examples. Example one, if Bob, your level one, orders only 75 PV, then JP, level two, will slide up or compress and you will earn the 8% on Bob's PV and on JP's PV. 
and every level below will compress up as well. Mary, who was your level 3, will now become your level 2, and you will earn 5% on her PV. This even means that the people who Seth sponsored, technically your level 6, and therefore outside of your uni level, will now compress up, and you will be eligible to earn the level 5 4% commission on those people. Example 2. But what if Bob either doesn't order or orders less than 100 PV, and JP either doesn't order or orders less than 100 PV? Guess what? JP and Mary will both compress up, and you will be paid the level 1 commission of 8% on the PV of Bob, JP, and Mary. Paul then becomes your level 2, 5% level, Seth becomes your level 3, and everyone below him moves up. In this example, without compression, you would get 4% on Mary's order, and with compression, you make 8%. In this third example, you will see how compression works exactly the same way, no matter which level the 100 PV minimum is not reached. You can see that Bob has ordered 100 PV, and so did JP. But Mary, your level 3, did not order. Paul, your level 2, orders 22 PV. All Paul wanted was some thieves household cleaner. Seth, who is technically your level 5, will compress all the way up and become your level 3. This really doesn't impact how much you make on Seth's order because both level 3 and level 5 are at 4%. But when Seth compresses up, so does every level below him. Your level 6 and 7, assuming they exist, will now compress up and become your levels 4 and 5. Thank you, Young Living. Now there is one more aspect of uni level that's important for you to understand, and that is how the fast start bonuses impact the uni level. During the fast start period, which is the first three calendar months of a new member's account with Young Living, the enrollers are compensated very, very well in the form of level one and level two fast start bonuses. During that three calendar month period, when fast start bonuses are in play, Young Living reduces any PV that Fast Start is paid on by 70% when calculating all other commissionable payouts. Whoa, back up and say that again. <laughs> During that three calendar month period when Fast Start bonuses are in play, Young Living reduces any PV that Fast Start is paid on by 70% when calculating all other commissionable payouts. For this example, I want you to forget about the enroller. Jill sets up an account in January and places a 100 PV order in January, so it is during the Fast Start period. To calculate the uni level on her order, the 100 PV is reduced by 70%, which equals 30 PV. If Jill is on your level 1, then that 30 PV at 8% equals $2.40. If Jill is on your level 2, then that 30 PV at 5% equals $1.50. If Jill is on your level 3, 4, or 5, then that 30 PV at 4% equals $1.20. How are we doing so far? Now I'm going to throw a scenario at you that's just a bit more complicated. Let's go back to the example that we used when explaining fast start bonuses. Do you remember Shirley, the lady who placed the big 2000 PV order in her first month? And remember that the fast start bonus was paid on the first 800 PV of her order? To calculate the uni level, the first 800 PV will be reduced by 70%, which equals 240. The remaining 1200 PV will be calculated at full PV value. In this example, the uni level for Shirley's orders will be calculated on 1440 PV. After the three calendar months of fast start bonuses, the 70% reduction of PV no longer applies, and all uni levels will be calculated at full PV value. 
So far, we've looked at fast start bonuses, starter kit bonuses, compression, how fast start impacts the uni level. Now, let's look at another bonus that's available to stars, senior stars, and executives. The Rising Star Team Bonus. This is a great bonus system that can really help you get your young living business up and rocking. In order to be eligible for the Rising Star Team Bonus, you must have a wholesale distributor account. You must be on Essential Rewards for a minimum of 100 PV. If you don't know about the Essential Rewards program, please click the link below to a separate video that explains the two mistakes not to make when ordering and sharing Young Living Essential Oils. Back to eligibility. You must be a star, senior star, or executive rank. You must have three personally sponsored people, meaning they are in your level one. These three people in your level one each need to be on Essential Rewards for a minimum of 100 PV, and they each must have an OGV of at least 300 PV. Looking at this image, you can see that you are on Essential Rewards for 100 PV, and you have three personally sponsored level one people, Bob, Sue, and Sherry. They are each on Essential Rewards for at least 100 PV and each have at least 300 OGV. It does not matter how their 300 OGV is reached. Sherry ordered the full 300 PV herself. Bob and Sue each have sponsored people that add to their OGV. By creating this in your organization, you are eligible for one share of the Rising Star Team Bonus. The Rising Star Team Bonus shares are calculated by taking 1% of Young Living's global commissionable sales, putting that 1% into a pot. That pot of money is then divided between the number of shares that were earned during that same month. With Young Living's explosive growth, the amount of money that goes into that pot continues to grow, and at the same time, the number of shares that that pot then needs to be divided between also grows. With all these variables, it is absolutely impossible to know exactly what one share will be worth. But, in my experience, one share of the Rising Star Team Bonus has been worth between $40 and $60. There is absolutely no guarantee on this number. If you earn this bonus and then find on your check that your one share was only worth 38 bucks or 8 bucks or even 8 cents, don't get mad at me. I actually contacted Young Living and said, okay, here's what I'm doing. Can you give me a ballpark on what one of these shares is worth? And the lady I talked to was fantastic, but she said, I'm sorry, Jeremy, I am not allowed to answer that question. We are not allowed to even suggest a number. In order to be eligible to earn two more shares of the Rising Star Team Bonus, you must have done everything necessary to earn your first share of this bonus. You must have an additional two personally sponsored people who are each on Essential Rewards for at least 100 PV, and they each must have an OGV of at least 500. By creating this, you will earn two additional shares for a total of three shares of the Rising Star Team Bonus. In order to earn an additional three shares over and above the three that we have already talked about, you must have done everything necessary to earn your first three shares of this bonus. You must have an additional two personally sponsored people who are each on Essential Rewards for at least 100 PV, and they each must have an OGV of at least 1,000. By creating this, you will have earned three additional shares for a grand total of six shares of the Rising Star Team Bonus. There is a time limit in place for how long you're able to earn these shares. The first time that you qualify for a share of the Rising Star Team Bonus, the clock starts, and you are eligible to earn these shares for 24 consecutive months. Now this time limit has been put in place to help incentivize you to reach the rank of silver, at which point you have access to an even better bonus structure, the generation bonuses. 
In order to qualify to be paid your personal generation in a given commission period, you must be paid as the rank of silver or above. Earning the personal generation means that you will be paid 2.5% of the PV in your organization down to, but not including the OGV of anyone in your organization who reaches the rank of silver or above. Do you remember when we talked about the impact that Fast Start has on uni level commissions? The same math applies here. Any PV that Fast Start bonuses are paid on is then reduced by 70% when calculating all generation payouts. Now, let's have a look at what qualifies as your personal generation. There you are in the center and you've done everything you need to do to qualify to be paid your personal generation. You will earn 2.5% on everything that is blue. And we said your personal generation goes down to the next silver or above in your organization. Well, how does that work? Let's say that Bob goes silver. What does that mean? Well, first, you should call Bob. Congrats on hitting silver, Bob. You deserve it, buddy. And how does that impact your personal generation? As soon as Bob goes silver, he is no longer part of your personal generation. Bob's organization becomes what is called your generation two. Now, you will be paid 2.5% on everything that is blue. You will be paid 3% on Bob and all of Bob's orange friends. One more example. Let's say that Carrie hits silver. She will also become a Generation 2 in your organization. Everything in blue will continue to be your personal generation, while everything in orange is your Generation 2. Now, you may be asking, so when I help Bob reach silver, I make less money? Not at all. Let's talk about how you are paid on the generations in your organization. In order to be paid on the generations in your organization, you must be at the rank of silver or above during that commission period. The higher your rank, the more generations you are eligible to be paid on. When a distributor in your organization is at the rank of silver or above, they are considered to be a generation for you. That generation includes the distributor who has reached silver or above and their entire organization down to, but not including, the next silver or above. Let's look at an example. In this example, you are a silver or above and both Carrie and Bob have achieved silver or above as well. The blue is your personal generation. Your personal generation does not include the orange because both Carrie and Bob are silver or above and have each become their own generation. They are considered your generation two. In this next example, Bob has helped JP reach the rank of silver. JP is now his own generation and no longer considered to be a part of Bob's generation. JP's organization is now considered to be your generation three. Let's do one more example. Carrie in orange is a silver and is considered to be your generation two. If Pete then hits silver, Pete becomes your generation two and Carrie will then be considered your generation three. Three. Watch that last part twice or thrice if you need to. Each of these circles is a distributor in your organization who has achieved the rank of silver or above. Which level they are in your organization is not important. Your generation two person could be in your level one or they could be in your level four or five. It doesn't matter. The first silver in a line becomes the generation two. It also doesn't matter how many levels there are between your generations. The next silver or above in that same line becomes your generation three. Generations two through seven are each paid at 3%. Generation eight is paid at 1%. As a silver, you are eligible to be paid your personal generation and your generations two and three. 
With each rank advancement beyond silver, you become eligible to be paid on an additional generation. One more illustration to help you fully grasp the potential of these generations. You are allowed to create as many of these lines or legs as you like. Let's say that Bob, who is your generation two, is able to help five people that he sponsored reach silver. These five silvers are each a generation three in your organization. There is no limit on the number of people you can have in any given generation. And just think, this is how you are being compensated for helping your people help their people discover the power of these amazing oils. And this is just the start. If you're fired up now, wait until you see how the generation leadership bonuses work. In order to be eligible for the generation leadership bonus, you must reach the rank of silver or above during a commission period or calendar month. And the higher the rank you achieve, the more shares you will earn. As a silver, you will earn one share. As a gold, two shares. Platinum, three shares. Diamond, four shares. Crown Diamond, five shares. And Royal Crown Diamond, six shares. And it gets even better. You are also eligible to earn shares for the leaders within your organization. Once you are a silver and earning one share of the generation leadership bonus, you qualify to earn an additional share for each leader who is silver or above within your organization. The higher the rank you reach, the more generations you are eligible to earn bonus shares on. Once you are a gold and earning two shares of this bonus, you are eligible to earn an additional one share for each silver leader and an additional two shares for each gold or above in your organization. This continues all the way up to Royal Crown Diamond. You cannot earn a share value greater than the share value of the rank you are being paid as. As a gold, you are personally eligible for two shares. That makes two the maximum number of shares you can earn per leader in your organization. If you have a leader who promotes to diamond, you will only be eligible to earn an additional two shares, not four, on that leader. If you are a silver and Bob becomes a royal crown diamond, how many shares are you eligible to earn on Bob? One share. And I bet you would probably like to know what one of these shares is worth. To calculate the value of the generation leadership bonus shares, Young Living takes 6.25% of the total global commissionable sales for that month and divides it between the number of shares earned that month. Now the amount of money that goes into this pot will fluctuate as will the number of shares it gets divided between. Therefore, there is no guarantee on the value of one of these shares during a given month. But in my experience, the value of those shares will range between $130 and $150. Another huge disclaimer. There is absolutely no guarantee on these numbers. And for diamonds and above, there are even more rewards like the Diamond Express profit sharing. At some point, we may create a video that explains this fully. But for now, just know that as a diamond, crown diamond, or royal crown diamond, you will be eligible for Diamond Express profit sharing. And this is in addition to all the fantastic bonuses you will already be receiving. Young Living takes 1% of the monthly global commissionable shares, puts that into a pot, and as a diamond or above, you are eligible to earn shares for doing things that really, as a diamond, you should be doing anyway. Things like going to convention, going to leadership training, attending a harvest, and for helping to train other Young Living distributors both nationally and internationally. If you want to learn more about this profit sharing, check out the Terms and Definitions document or contact Young Living directly. There are just two more aspects of the commission check breakdown and then we will be on to rank qualifications. Can you imagine sitting down to figure out what your commission should be? Or trying to calculate the commission of a Royal Crown Diamond? 
or imagine calculating the commission for every young living representative around the globe. There is a small fee for processing your commission. The higher your commission, the higher the fee goes, to a maximum of $5. Any adjustments from a previous month will show up on this line as well. One month when I looked at my commission statement, there was an adjustment of $12.36. When I contacted Young Living, they explained that there had been product return from a previous month and therefore that adjustment was made to my commission. If you see an oddball number on that line for your commission statement, that's probably why. But feel free to contact Young Living to confirm. In my experience, they are always more than happy to help. Now the last line on your commission statement is the D. Gary Young Foundation. The D. Gary Young Foundation purpose is to educate, awaken, and inspire individuals to love, honor, and live a healthy lifestyle. Those words come straight from the website, www.dgaryyoungfoundation.org. Please visit to learn more. When you are on the site, you will see a tab that says Donation Options. There is a drop down, then a tab that says Commissions Donation. In most countries, you are able to set it up to have your donation come directly off your Young Living Commission check. There will be links for the Foundation website both within this video and in the YouTube description box of this video. And now, what does it take to qualify for each rank within the Young Living Compensation Plan? If you haven't already, please print off the Compensation Plan highlight sheet so that you can follow along. There will be links to that within the YouTube description box of this video. As we go through each rank all the way from Distributor to Royal Crown Diamond, you will learn what you need to do to qualify for that rank, which aspects of the compensation plan you are eligible to earn at each rank, the average income, average hours worked per week at each rank. And please remember two things. One, there are no guarantees of income here, and two, Every aspect of the comp plan resets at the beginning of each commission period. Each month you are paid based on your rank qualification for that month, not past months. Also, as we go through, if there are any terms or definitions that you are unclear on, please visit our website video library to learn more. Now, what does it take to qualify as a distributor? In order to qualify for any aspect of the Young Living Compensation Plan, you must have a distributor account with Young Living. You must remain active having ordered a minimum of 50 PV within the past 12 calendar months. If you are set up with a retail customer account, you are not eligible for any aspect of this compensation plan. As a distributor who has ordered a minimum of 50 PV during a commission period, you are eligible to earn Fast Start Bonuses Level 1 and Level 2, the Starter Kit Bonus. As a distributor who has ordered a minimum of 100 PV during a commission period, you are eligible to earn Fast Start Bonuses Level 1 and Level 2, the Starter Kit Bonus, Uni Level Commissions Level 1 and Level 2. The vast majority of people at the rank of distributor are not business builders at all. Most are simply customers who are enjoying wholesale pricing on these world-class products. Now if you are interested in building a business, then your first goal is likely to reach the rank of star. To qualify for the rank of star during a given commission period, you must be an active distributor you must order a minimum of 100 PV. You must have an OGV of at least 500. As a star, you are eligible to earn Fast Start Bonuses, Level 1 and 2, the Starter Kit Bonus, Uni Level Commissions, Level 1, Level 2, and Level 3, the Rising Star Team Bonus. On average, stars work 5 hours a week, earn $73 a month, or 876 annually, basically you would be subsidizing your Young Living product use. Paying less for my oil sounds good to me. <music> to qualify for the rank of Senior Star during a given commission period, you must 
be an active distributor. You must order a minimum of 100 PV. You must have an OGV of at least 2,000. As a senior star, you are eligible to earn fast start bonuses, level 1 and level 2, the starter kit bonus, uni level commissions, levels 1, 2, 3, and 4, the rising star team bonus. A senior star works an average of 7 hours a week, earns $261 a month. Hmm. That's my car payment. That's $3,132 annually, and you are well on your way to achieving the rank of executive. This is the final stage of creating the foundation that your Young Living organization will be built upon. To qualify for the rank of executive during a given commission period, you must be an active distributor. You must order a minimum of 100 PV. You must have an OGV of at least 4,000. Now listen up, this next part's new. You must have two qualifying legs of at least 1,000 OGV each. As an executive, you are eligible to earn Fast Start Bonuses Level 1 and Level 2, the Starter Kit Bonus, Uni Level Commissions, all five levels, the Rising Star Team Bonus. And this is the highest level that you are eligible to earn the Rising Star Team Bonus. Make it count. The average executive works 11 hours a week, makes $617 per month, which is over $7,400 per year. That pays for a nice vacation. <laughs> This also puts you one step closer to achieving the rank of silver. If you have been following along with the compensation plan highlight sheet, then you will see that this is where we shift from creating your foundation to building your business. In my opinion, silver is a tipping point. Don't get me wrong, you need to keep working in order for your organization to continue growing. To qualify for the rank of silver during a given month, you must be an active distributor. You must order a minimum of 100 PV. You must have an OGV of at least 10,000. You must have qualifying legs of at least 4,000 OGV each. And you must have a PGV of 1,000. As a silver, you are eligible to earn fast start bonuses, level one and level two, the starter kit bonus, all five uni levels, personal generation commissions, generation commissions on generations two and three, generation leadership bonus including your generations two and three. The average silver works 17 hours a week, makes $2,335 a month, which is over $28,000 a year. This is getting interesting. This doesn't happen overnight, but silver is very doable, and it is also the gateway to bigger and better things. Golden things. By the time you are hitting silver, you have shifted your focus more toward helping the people in your organization build their own organization. In order to achieve gold, simply continue with that effort. In order to qualify for the rank of gold during a given commission period, you must be an active distributor, you must order a minimum of 100 PV, you must have an OGV of at least 35,000, you must have three qualifying legs of at least 6,000 OGV each, you must have a PGV of at least 1,000. As a gold, you are eligible to earn the Fast Start Bonuses, Level 1 and Level 2. The Starter Kit Bonus, Uni Levels 1 through 5. Personal Generation Commission, Generation Commission on your Generations 2, 3, and 4. Generation Leadership Bonus, including your Generations 2, 3, and 4. The average gold works 23 hours a week, makes $6,527 per month. That's over $78,000 per year. I think I like gold. No need to stop here. Next up is platinum. To go from silver to gold, basically you triple your OGV. Triple it again, and you're platinum. Well, there's a little more to it than that. 
In order to qualify as a Platinum during a given month, you must be an active distributor. You must order a minimum of 100 PV. You must have an OGV of at least 100,000. You must have four qualifying lags of at least 8,000 OGV each. You must have a PGV of 1,000. As a Platinum, you are eligible to earn the Fast Start bonuses, Level 1 and Level 2, the Starter Kit bonus, Uni Levels 1 through 5, Personal Generation Commissions, Generation Commissions on Generations 2 through 5, Generation Leadership bonus, including your Generation 2 through 5. The average Platinum works 32 hours per week, makes $15,721 a month, and annually that works out to $188,652.10. Next up, the coveted diamond. In the early stages of building your Young Living business, the thoughts of going for Diamond can feel a little bit overwhelming. To qualify for the rank of Diamond during a given month, you must be an active distributor. You must order a minimum of 100 PV. You must have an OGV of at least 250,000. You must have five qualifying legs of at least 15,000 OGV each. And you must have a PGV of at least 1,000. As a diamond, you are eligible to earn the Fast Start bonuses, Level 1 and Level 2, the Starter Kit bonus, Uni Levels 1 through 5, Personal Generation Commission, Generation Commissions on Generations 2 through 6, Generation Leadership bonus, including your Generations 2 through 6. You will be eligible for Diamond Express profit sharing. The average Diamond works 45 hours a week and makes more than a thousand bucks a day, $32,000 a month, and annually that works out to $384,036. Just two more levels to go and Crown Diamond is next. To qualify for the rank of Crown Diamond during a given commission period, you must be an active distributor. You must order a minimum of 100 PV. You must have an OGV of at least 750,000. You must have six qualifying lags of at least 20,000 OGV each, and you must have a PGV of 1,000 or more. As a Crown Diamond, you are eligible to earn the Fast Start bonuses, Level 1 and Level 2, the Starter Kit bonus, Uni Levels 1 through 5, Personal Generation Commission, Generation Commissions on Generations 2 through 7, Generation Leadership bonus, including your Generation 2 through 7. You will be eligible for Diamond Express profit sharing. The average Crown Diamond works 36 hours per week, makes $57,300 per month, which works out to annually $687,600. One final level left, and that is the Royal Crown Diamond. Royal Crown Diamond is the pinnacle of the Young Living Compensation Plan. To qualify for the rank of Royal Crown Diamond during a given commission period, you must be an active distributor. You must order a minimum of 100 PV. You must have an OGV of at least 1.5 million. You must have six qualifying legs of at least 35,000 OGV each. You must have a PGV of at least 1,000. As a Royal Crown Diamond, you are eligible to earn Fast Start Bonuses Level 1 and Level 2, the Starter Kit Bonus, Uni Levels 1 through 5, Personal Generation Commission, Generation Commissions on Generations 2 through 8, Generation Leadership Bonus, including your Generations 2 through 8.
you will be eligible for Diamond Express profit sharing. The average Royal Crown Diamond works 37 hours per week, makes $106,432 per month, which annually works out to $1,277,184. Hey Jeremy, I just realized that I won't have to work as many hours if I don't have to keep explaining this compensation plan. Do you mind if I share these videos? That was the entire point of creating these videos. So tweet it, pin it, post it, share it, and work it. Whatever you can do to get it out there so that more and more people understand how they can make a little or a lot by sharing these amazing oils. Make it a great day.